pick and place operation, components are placed on the board on the paste deposits. A reliable electrical and physical connection is then made during the reflow soldering process. The solder paste melts during this process and cools down again to create a good solder joint. We use Ursa hot flow ovens. These are long convection ovens with many heating zones that together create a soldering cycle. Each heating zone of the oven has a regulated temperature set by the reflow soldering profile for the assembly process. Multiple segments help to get an optimised heat transfer and minimum temperature differences between different points on the PCBA. The reflow profile is influenced by the number of layers in the PCB, the copper distribution on the board and the number and size of components. Reflow profiles usually have four stages, preheat, thermal soak, reflow and cooling. The aim of the preheating stage is to raise the temperature, heating the board and the components evenly. The temperature gradient is important because if temperatures change too quickly, it can cause damage to components. During the thermal soak, the flux is activated to reduce oxidisation of pads and leads of components and improve solder wetting. In the third section, the solder paste melts or reflows and the process reaches its maximum temperature. The component that has the lowest maximum temperature allowance will define the maximum allowable temperature. The process board is cooling down in the last zones of the reflow oven. The solder alloy solidifies to make the solder joints. If the reflow profiles, or if the process is not well optimised, this can lead to poor or non-wetting of the solder joints, damaged components or cold soldering. After soldering, the boards are inspected in detail. 